As I mentioned a few videos ago, all of the data that you need for this course is already available to you. We are going to be using the EEG data set, the V1 laminar data set, and the simulated data, which I will start talking about in the next video. So you don't actually need any more data, but I do want to have a quick video just to let you know about possibilities for getting additional data sets for free from the web if you are interested. So what I've done here is compile a very small and non-exhaustive list of websites where you can get free EEG or LFP or MEG data. So if you're curious, you can check out some of these different websites. The thing is, there isn't really one central global repository where everyone puts their data or everyone links their data. It probably would be a good idea, but there's a lot of small solutions that people have implemented themselves. And a lot of people also share their data freely on their personal website or on GitHub or on their university website. So there's a lot more data sets that are available out there. And if there's something in particular that you were looking for, some feature of a data set or some kind of data set, then it's probably best just to go to Google or Bing or Yahoo or AltaVista or whatever search engine you use and look around for that kind of data set. So that said, I would like to say a few words of caution when trying to use data that you just download for free from some online repository. These are problems that uh, either I have encountered or I have discussed with other people and they have encountered. So you can find online data sets, but they might be incomplete. So there might be part of the data, but not all the data. Sometimes you find data sets that are freely available, but they are not very well documented. So for example, you might get all of the brain data, but there are no markers that tell you what the behavior was at the same time. Or maybe, you know, there's no channel location information. So there's sometimes poorly documented data sets. Relatedly, there is sometimes no metadata that's provided or confusing metadata that just make it really hard to understand what the structure of the data is and how to properly import or interpret the data. And a final problem, or maybe this is more an annoyance than a problem per se, sometimes these data come in these really weird formats and they're not very well explained and uh, or they are kind of explained but in some really obtuse complicated way and so sometimes it can take a long time and it's a, it's very difficult just to import the data from the raw format that you get uh, online that someone has posted into matlab or python or whatever so I, just to be clear, I don't mean to say that all of the data that you will find online is poor and annoying and unusable, but just be aware that if you are looking for free data, these are possible issues that you might encounter. I think these things have been getting better over time in the past, let's say 15 years or so that I've been uh, trying to play around with with free data available online, but I still see quite a bit of these kinds of problems. And then just the final note repetition, you don't actually need any uh, extra data for this course. So I just wanted to uh, list the, a couple of these sites here, mostly just for your information in case you are curious. And if you want data, but you're not satisfied with any of these data, then why not generate your own data? That is exactly what I'm going to talk about in the next video and I will see you then.